This is a GU10 uh, fluorescent lamp. This is a new one. Um, it's replacing an old one, which I'm in the process of taking apart. It's, something's gone horribly wrong. There's all this yellow gunk inside it. It's also spurted yellow gunk out the top. And you can see it's all around there. So I'll uh, carry on stripping it down, you'll see what's inside. Mm. The lamp itself is actually contained in this little metal tray. Which is wide on under here to this tiny little board, but straight away I think I've spotted the failure. And here, wrapped in this little paper tube, I can show you. Let's see what I can do. Look at that. A capacitor. It's spilled its guts. So we'll get that out and see what it is. There you can see better now. That cap's definitely blown. Looking at the input, there seems to be this would have gone to the actual lamp base itself. Inside there I'd say that is a resistor. Possibly a fusible resistor, I don't know. Um, that... Sorry about the focus. I think it's an inductor of some kind. And that, maybe some filtering or something. Um, switching transistors. Uh, there, that leads to the lamp. I'll unsolder those in a minute. I think this is a thermistor, which only activates the filaments um, at the initial power and then cuts off. I think that's what it is. <coughs> I could be wrong. Let's unwrap this cap and see what make it is. See how hot this got. It's coating the yeah, outer sleeve of the capacitor. It's actually gone all crispy and was fused to the, out, to the woven material that was around it. So it's impossible for me to tell what make this capacitor was or what value it was. All I know is it's deed. I'll try and unwrap that and see what it is. Oops, I think I just broke something. Oh well, no big deal. I don't know, I've just pulled the wires through a bit. We'll sort that out. Let's solder, desolder those. Here's what the actual tube looks like. It's kind of a, a double W back to back. And the two ends with the filaments, which I haven't tested yet. It bends around here and around here. They're sort of linked in the middle there a double U tube there again as well linked in the middle there and that's all crammed inside it's glued inside this metal tray which kind of looks like one of those little candles that you get so the size of the sort of bulb let's compare it with a normal well I'll say normal that's a hundred watt bulb this is the sort of bulb it's replacing it's uh, these things, GU10 fitting, 240 volt. I don't think you'll ever be able to do something about the amount of heat that builds up in these things. Look what color, how it's coloured the plastic. I'm sure that wasn't that colour when it was new. It's all crispy and crunchy as well. Alright, so let's see if these filaments are any good. I've got my multimeter wired up to these clip leads. So... Uh, Oops. Let's have a go then. That one's 
one's okay. What about the other one? That one's okay. So there's probably nothing wrong with this tube, it's just the electric electronics that went. You can see a little, what appears to be a surface mount rectifier. It's a TB10S. The AC comes in there. See, I've uh, stripped off the heat shrink from that input, and it is a resistor. One ohm, maybe. Let's see if there's all this white crap all over the board. Look at it all. No idea what that is. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's an inductor. Again, everything's covered in this white crap. Little transformer there. There's that uh, thermistor. Oops. Let's see if we can get some more light on it. Let me see what it is. Mm. Here's a new one of those running. You can see quite a wide um, diffused beam light pattern compared to the halogen. It's very focused, very spot. I think they give off the same amount of light. Just that one's in a very focused spot. It's not very nice to look at. Very bright. And it gets hot. They don't last very long. The bulbs are cheaper, but you have to replace them more often. And they use 35 watts. This one, how's this one? It's not so bright to look at. It's a nice diffused beam. They do take about five minutes to get up to full temp full temperature, but when they're hot, you wouldn't want to keep your hand on it. But they're not scalding. It's not going to burn you instantly. So, and you get the obvious energy savings because this is 7 watts so I don't think they're worth doing these are being used in a pub so they're on all day <coughs> the failed one lasted about 14 months at 12 hours of use a day which falls short of its 8,000 hour um, stated life it was about 5,000 hours so but still cheaper than replacing these halogen bulbs all the time because these cost a couple of quid a pop and they were blowing monthly, so yeah, not bad. Get another year's use out of these, I'll be happy with that. They actually come with a year's warranty anyway, these ones, so I'm happy. That'd be good.